Well hello everyone and welcome to this set of tutorials. My name is Tim Stack and I work for the Utah Education Network and in this set of tutorials I would like uh, to go through the process of using Adobe Dreamweaver CS4 to create a layout using CSS. Now we're going to jump right into that pretty quick here but um, before I get started, I want to just show you where you can get sample files if you want to follow along and uh, have some sample files, the same ones that I'll be using. And actually, they're just a couple of images. So um, here is uh, my, my UEN page, and the URL for it is right here at the top. So my.uen.org forward slash 46807. And that will get you to my, my UEM page. And uh, if you click on this tab that says Conferences and Presentations, and then you'll see a folder here with CSS sample files. Inside of that is a folder that has been zipped up. And you just download that, unzip it, and you'll have the same set of sample files that I will be using. OK, I'm going to close that off there. That should give you enough time to write down those things. Now, the, the layout that we're going to create uh, in this set of tutorials is just a simple two column layout and I've got an example up of it up here. Um, so you can see it's got f five primary regions, uh, sort of a header region, a top navigation region with a couple of links in there with some roll simple rollovers, um, two columns, uh, a right column here for content and a left column for another navigation bar there, sub nav, or uh, pretty much anything else, and then a spot down here for a footer. So um, pretty simple layout, uh, but when we create a, a layout in using CSS, it's nice to sort of start with uh, a nice, clean, simple layout and then go from there. Now. Uh, one quick word about CSS. Um, I kind of, I'm, I'm kind of assuming a little bit of CSS knowledge. This isn't a, a basic CSS tutorial, um, but just a little bit of um, background with CSS here. So this page that you're looking at now, our little sample file, it's actually, it actually takes two documents to create this layout. All right. So one is the HTML document, uh, which basically holds the content. And the second document is the CSS document. And that CSS document has the instructions for where this content is supposed to show up on my page and how it is supposed to be formatted. The color, the you know background images, what the background color is supposed to look like, the links, what are they supposed to look like, and the positioning, where stuff um, is laid out on the page. And if, uh, if let me just uh, turn off the styles here. Um, you can see. So now I'm just seeing the plain HTML document. Still have the, the two headers up here at the top, my navigation which ends up as a bulleted list, and then I have my left column there, a couple of paragraphs are in the right column, and then this footer information down here. So with the CSS turned off, you can see it's just plain, usually plain text. Often there might be a few images in here if there were some images in the content. Um, but everything else goes away. Everything else is on the style sheet. And then if I switch to the style sheet, here's what this style sheet is uh, is looking like. So the instructions on how to make things look and where to um, put stuff. So you can see there, there's my left column. And it says, hey, I want this, this region or this rectangle or this box to have a padding of 20 pixels. I want it to float to the left. I want it to be 140 pixels wide. Um, and it's going to have a background image that uh, is going to repeat. Well, that's anyway. So um, those are my two documents. Now I am using um, I am using this um, nice little. Let me just back it up here. Um, this little toolbar that uh, I'm. I'm using here to turn the styles on and off. This little toolbar is a um, little add-in to uh, to Firefox that is a little web design um, add-in that lets me turn on and off the, the the style sheets. And I'm just going to pull this up so you can see. Um, this add-in is called the Web Developer 1.1.6. So if you're interested in that uh, and you use Firefox, just go to the Firefox menu and you can uh, 
under preferences here go and find add-ins that you can do and that one's this one's called the web developer and it, one thing it does let me do is I mean, it does a lot of stuff but really the thing that I use it for is to sort of turn style sheets on and off or turn the CSS on and off so I can um, so I can see stuff see how see how the CSS is working test things out so um, that's the that's going to be our our layout you can do this on other websites as well let me just here's a um, another side I'm going to disable the style sheets here and when I do that you can see um, the content becomes very text-based so all the formatting goes away and all that's left is the content that was on this page so kind of fun to see um, and a nice little tool to help me understand how CSS is working on different on different pages alright so let's get rid of this um, and go into Dreamweaver. Now, what I would expect is uh, if you're going to follow right along, you would have gotten those sample files and you would have uh, created a root folder on your desktop or on your computer somewhere and have gone in and defined this practice site. And you can see I just called it CSS Layout here. Um, and so I've got CSS Layout and there it's pointing towards my folder that is holding those uh, sample files. And I've got an extra one that you probably don't have, this assets one, that's just for some some other stuff, but really the images. You can see I've got three images that I'm going to use in this layout, and then, um, so those are the JPEGs, and then I have the, the PNGs that go with them. So if I wanted to edit them some more or adjust them a bit, I've got the PNGs available uh, to do that, sort of my master copies. So uh, the one thing that I don't have in here now is an HTML document to get started working on. So I'm just going to come up and right click or control click on my site folder and do new file and I'm just going to name this layout.html so that's the document that I'm going to work on in Dreamweaver and if I double click on it that will open up I need to bring it over here and open it up in this window okay so I opened up that HTML file um, and Dreamweaver gives me some that this version of Dreamweaver gives me some nice options here of how I see stuff so right now uh, it's, it comes up in design view I can split the screen so that I see the HTML over here and then I'll see design view on this side and that's probably the way I work most commonly um, but you can control all of that here so if I'm used to the uh, previous versions of Dreamweaver and I like it split vertically so I like to see the HTML on the top and the design on the bottom um, this this default menu right up here lets me do that but I really like um, this vertical split tool here okay so I'm just gonna give this little name this is my layout okay now uh, in the next tutorial we'll start laying out these regions but that's just a little introduction getting things set up getting things ready to go um, and in part two we'll start putting in our regions or our DIV tags